Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I, 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 I ain't got no comment. And Ben's stroke for the day is done. <laughs> Ben's stroke brought to you by. <laughs> Brought to you by Liquid Death. Please sponsor us, Liquid Death. Thank you very much. Oh, dude, I've been drinking so much Liquid Death lately, and I love it's it. It's ice cold. It's, it's ice cold. dude. It's sparkling, but not too not too aggressive. It's just like ah, not like <laughs> ah, not like what? It, it's not like ah. So <laughs> that's our new grading scale for drinks. <laughs> Hey, man. baby. Uh, I'm just yeah. talking with the boys yeah, right now. Uh, let me meet this real quick because Ben's talking too loud. <laughs> hey, darling. I'm just talking with the boys right now. <laughs> Why? Because I'm live from my bedroom. This is the Board Till Death Podcast! What the fuck? <laughs> what, the what? What was that? <laughs> Should I like that? I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> You don't know how you come no, on. No, no, I don't. I, I'm like come I'm 50-50. I, I just don't know how. Old. It's got to be the best of the three so far. I've done. <laughs> I don't know. Last week's was pretty killer, honestly. <laughs> it's last week. I mean, it honestly, it's kind of close to it last is, week. It is. It is. I don't know why it was so quiet on my end, but yeah. <laughs> I thought you were legitimately taking a call, and I was like, well, <laughs> I didn't That's know. what I was trying to go for, but <laughs> then it was being stupid. Anyways. <laughs> Andrew, Ben, what's going on? Welcome to a new episode. Hi, I'm tired. Oh, well, hey, Taylor, welcome to a new episode. Okay, there's Ben with his Apple okay, commercial. Okay, I thought... <laughs> I thought you were Ben. Yeah, it... I'm Taylor. I'm so lost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone else doesn't know it out there, but we are doing a late recording. It is... Um... What after midnight for you guys over there on the east yeah. coast? And uh, when you're at, when you're after thirty years old, that's uh, that's pretty late for that's, us. So. That's lunchtime for me. What are you talking about, dude? I was gonna say this is well, this is Ben's for, witching hour. I'm usually yeah, like this is dead true. right now. I've got another solid that's four true. hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to be um, interfering with your nerd hours. Nah, dude, so. it's good. I need to take a break, anyways. I've got figurines to paint. <laughs> No, oh, here we not, go again. I think we've it's not even video. figurines to paint. So, uh, on topic with my last conversations, ah, magic! All of the just the uh, magic cards stacked. That looks like more than nine uh, decks you've bought so yeah. far. Because I'm pretty sure that's how many you said you bought the first time. Uh, right? so you remember that term <laughs> gambling? <laughs> oh yes, there. I do. Losing out my ass. Yeah, so here, here my, my five minute power hour of the nerd crap I've gotten into. Uh, yeah, no, I pulled a uh, a bit of a a bit of a problem here. Just buying magic cards. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really bad. It's <laughs> so yeah. I need oh, I, I need help. <laughs> so I need help. I've um <laughs> been there many times, buddy. It's all you're gonna get through it. Trust well, and me. it's it's you just need that new paycheck to come. Well, in. it's fun. Well, no, because I already have everything budgeted. Like it fits in the budget. I just allocated some other resources. Um. The problem is storage, one. And two, the problem is, is I got into it for the gambling of like, all right, you pull a hot card. Like, I've got a card that was like the rarest out of the set. It's like a $60 card. And I'm like, oh, uh, I no longer want to sell this. I've got a hot piece of of commodity in my hands. I'm going to hold on to it. Yeah. Uh, and so now the gambling went into hoarding and it will just stay locked away. Um, yeah. So yes, problems sick. So what's the value of that card? Oh, uh, so it's, um, 60 bucks. It's a ancient oh, copper so dragon. I spent oh. t- 20. Oh God, dude. So this is the skip ahead. If you, if you're bored, uh, the, <laughs> 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 so, so you remember you remember Pokemon cards like it's like six bucks for a sleeve, 
you crack it open, yeah. get a few cards. Yeah. Well, Magic, there's like, it's like a- $5 sets, and then there's like $20 sets. Like, you pay $20 for 15 cards, and it's that's the gamble mm-hmm. of you could pull a bunch of cards that are worth like 10 cents, uh, but they're shiny and collectible. So, um, yeah, no, I just lucked out, got like the rarest card of the the set, and it was a holographic. God, dude, I sound like I'm, ugh, I'm so sad of myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love God. when we were pre-gaming this podcast and like coming up with like segments and ideas. We were talking about doing Taylor's gambling corner of him, ta- you know, me talking about you know all my winnings and losings, and it's pretty much turned into Ben's gambling. Yeah, corner. it's completely <laughs> shifted to Ben oh. now. <laughs> I just came in and said, "Hold my beer." Hardly even talk about me, which is good <laughs> because I'd probably cry if we did. Sports are unpredictable. I, I don't, I don't think I could ever do that. That's too much. Yeah. Now yeah, I will say about to start, so it's about to get bad. When you when you visited Asheville last time and we all took a trip to the local supermarché and you were like, <laughs> "Hey dude, you ever check out this oh, uh, little off. scratch off machine?" And I was like, "Oh, what's this?" And you just insert your card and you press a button and it gives you a scratch off. I was like, "Oh, this is hitting so many like satisfaction Ooh, buttons in my head." That's so weird that you brought that up. That 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 weekend popped up in my memories like in the last couple of days <clears throat> it was around this time i believe yeah. yeah you know what else but um before you go on you know what else was around this time what boys trip i gotta get that going back again that was that that was november wasn't that that oh you're talking about the first boys trip andrew it's for the effect okay <laughs> it's a talking point to lead us into a cool conversation that the listeners may want to hear about i know it was november <laughs> They don't. But you said it was around this time. <laughs> I mean, it's only like a month away, right? Two months away. Ben, I'm. I don't. Okay, I don't I'm know. Concerned. We are le- more than a month away from November. <laughs> In fairness, also a lot of the conversation was. It was pretty cold out that trip. Too. It was. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! All of Ben's brain cells are going into the gambling. <laughs> I, I thought you were talking about the second boys trip, which was which that, was that, that weekend, time, right? yeah. Which I inter, uh, you know, I brought you into the world of uh, scratch offs. That's how I got started, and it's it's not a fun path. No, nope. at all. Luckily, I left that I, behind. I, uh, yeah. When I was eighteen, I uh, I bought my first one. It was like a three dollar, and I turned it to a, it won like one hundred fifty, and then it's like that that just started the the debauchery pretty much. <laughs> it was. It was bad. And I won like another 500 within like the next week. So, of course, I'm like, oh, I could just do this for a living. This is easy. <laughs> and then I spent like another, I spent all of it on more. And it just, nope, it's not that easy. <laughs> but, anyways, but anyways, uh, yeah, boys trip, the, the, the boys trip, we'll, we'll say for another day when, you know, it gets close. Yeah, when it's to actually you. November. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for not for one, sure. but three more months. I'm pretty sure it was like the week before Thanksgiving, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it was somewhere around there. Yeah, it was around there. Oh, shit. Sorry if I sound like crap still out there. I am getting over my sickness still, apparently. Oh, wow. I heard <laughs> hearing last week. I, <laughs> yes, hearing last week, I sound like the singer disturbed. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta oh, do geez. it like the guys trying to sing along on uh, on stage. It's like, ooh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Bro. Have y'all seen the compilation of all of them put together? Yes, uh, yes, I have seen the compilation. <laughs> is that what you said? No. Uh, well, yes, compilation is what I said. Compilation, I don't know what is. Oh, oh, whatever. Sorry. Compilation. What? <laughs> Sound a little racist there. Whoa! Whoa! What? Whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> I heard Asian. That's oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> But, uh, so, uh, Andrew, how was your week? Oh, boy, here we go. Camera talking dad life. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Is your child still alive? <laughs> okay, that's a very... I don't like that silence. It, it, now I'm, yeah, I'm is, a third. Is, where, where is Landon? I just realized... Where is your child? <laughs> I just realized this is a this is not a visual podcast yet, and nobody sees me staring Ben in, in the eyes. <laughs> it's just an, it's a guilty-sounding silence. No, Landon is fine. He's good. He's asleep right now. 
<laughs> yes, they should be. Yeah, no, <laughs> so we all not a lot be. happened for me this week. I'm just still trying to get ready for this big um, festival that is coming up. It's actually this coming weekend. And I'm pulling my hair out. So that's cool. Um, I you look like you still have a lot there. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I don't know. Other than that, damn it, Taylor. Now, now I can't steer away from. I can't steer away from dad and camera stuff. I was gonna say oh, I sent in my well, negatives for my first test roll on that new camera I talked about. You, you are the dad of the podcast. I am. So, yeah. You know. So, but yeah, not not a lot happened oh. for me this week. I just live in life. Hell yeah, brother. I went to work. You know, whatever. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> That's all I want to say. <laughs> Stone Cold E.T. What? <laughs> there is something I have not heard. It's so long. <laughs> what was that? Oh my God, I forgot all about that. Deep cut YouTube reference. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my, that's Vine days right there. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to segue to that. <laughs> I just derailed everything. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> All I know is that when you, you said Vine and it, it spiked the memory, I was talking to Emily and I was like, hey, I was trying to say, like, oh, I saw like a funny TikTok I want to show you. And like in my head, I was thinking TikTok, but out loud, I was like, oh, dude. I was watching some vines earlier today, and and then uh, I just had like a moment where I just <laughs> stopped and stared at a, at the wall. I was like, ah, uh, that was what six years ago now, five <laughs> six years ago. Oh my god, that's like eight years ago. Feels like. Uh, anyways, well, <laughs> I didn't look into it, but I was I saw an article that said something along the lines that like uh, the TikTok of that we are used to, like it was all when it started, it was at this hype, everyone was dancing and stuff. But apparently, like the vine era is coming back on tiktok like a lot more just stupid humor is coming and then well, i'm i'm ready to see more. my brother that. sends that me all that kind of stuff all the time and yeah it's definitely true well yeah like the tiktok originally was just like dancing can't, can't choreograph like i mean and there still is like that mm-hmm. subculture is still going or not subculture but that uh, i mean basically it is it is basically a subculture within the app yeah, and then the and I I remember when I found it, it was during COVID, and it was like, well, I'm bored, and I was living with Andrew, we just gave it a try, and oh man, what was it? <laughs> it was the hereditary meme going around. Yes, the music. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you leave your kid in the bathroom on accident, he comes out looking like messed <laughs> up. I don't know, dude. It's just like, it's some wild times. And uh, yeah, anyways. Yeah, the, I think the Vine culture has kind of crept in for a while and now it's becoming more. Yeah, I, it, I think it needs to. There's oh, yeah. there's something about that short length format for making videos that I feel like a lot of just genuinely funny stuff naturally blossoms from. Oh, the one hits. Yeah. One hit wonders, basically. Oh, I love those. You remember when we all lived together, we would literally like on a Friday night sit in the living room, watch YouTube videos oh, yeah. of old vines. And I swear to God, we were there for two hours just dying. All of it's us such a couch, just it's, it's, stupid. It makes me feel like such a boomer sometimes because the world has moved on. Yeah, back <laughs> the, about the world has moved on. <laughs> but here I am in my everyday life mm-hmm. and my brain. My brain is connected to Vine still so much that everything will remind me of some Vine and my head will quote <laughs> it. And I'm like, don't say it out loud. Don't you dare say it out loud. <laughs> every every time I see you log in on a PlayStation, I'm just, hi, welcome to Chili. <laughs> yeah, my PlayStation name is literally named after a Vine. Like, no. It's uh, my my uh, my router, my uh, internet router and password and stuff is based off of the two dudes sitting in the hot tub. <laughs> yeah, or, you remember that one? <laughs> yeah, I I miss it. I've actually been on TikTok more. Like I downloaded it for the first time like two weeks ago, and I started making videos for some reason. And uh, I think I might continue doing it because it's kind of fun. And I'm sad that I found <laughs> the addiction. It, it is it is it actually is fun is. though. Like I, I only use it for like film yeah. photography stuff and all that, which the community on there is massive for that kind of thing. But it, there's something addictive about putting clips together on your phone and just watching the numbers go up. Yeah, I have a, uh, I have a conspiracy about TikTok that your oh, wife would love. Let's do it. What is it? Chinese, the uh, 
the Chinese made TikTok. China. 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 <laughs> China. <laughs> what? The Chinese made TikTok <laughs> to help dumb down United States, uh, the people of the United States. Because apparently if you go on TikTok in China, it's nothing but like cleaning and organization videos and stuff. And here we are <laughs> dancing snorting and- cocaine out of nacho cheese. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of demographics? Well, yeah. It depends on the on the society of what they value, and that's going to be amplified. Okay, my guy. Like America likes. Oh, well, that's what yeah, I'm it's saying. It's not like, a conspiracy. They, that's they just know. a program. They're going to amplify. That's just a programming, man. We like that short. Mm, give me them tasty treats, like you know. No, <laughs> exactly. But <laughs> but like the media itself, like everything, it like yeah. amplifies it. Without it, without the internet, nothing's amplified. To that's how we got everyone to this crazy state of the world we're in. Yeah, is the internet. And you know, people on podcasts. Well, you know, <laughs> you ever heard of cookies? My, 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 my mm, I like cookie. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was like a Yoda into Cookie Monster. I, was, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's Yoda in a trash. There was absolutely no plan going into that. It just happened totally naturally. <laughs> you said cookies, and my brain was just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really tired, guys. <laughs> Maybe recording this one is a bad idea. No, nah, this is great. I can't wait till we do a live stream and we're going to do 24 hour recordings. And I'm going to, and I'm just going to look like a that. rabid raccoon on, on camera. Exactly. I got a cool article we could, we should read. You ready for this? America's 50 most rat infested cities ranked. Sorry, you can't say y'all ready for this without that. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, rats! Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Y'all should watch out. There's like three cities from North Carolina. <laughs> on this bitch. Surprisingly, there's only one city on it from Florida, and that is shocking. Then again, I guess I don't really think rats in Florida now that I think about it. All alligators eat them, I guess. It's not rats in Florida, it's the freaking crabs when it rains. Oh my, the land crabs? And cockroaches. They're landmines. They come out like, cut, cut, cut. like what up, my dude? <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> what up, my dude? <laughs> That's what crabs say. In case you didn't know. What's oh, <laughs> up, bitch? I'm not even like I just, <laughs> dude. It's like Tokyo Drift, dude. Like you'd be pulling out the road and just like a landmine of crabs, just like walking out, stunting. They're ready to fight God. Uh, anyways. <laughs> This, of course, Portland, Oregon's on that bitch, 24. But surprisingly, New York City isn't number one. Do y'all know what the most rat-infested city in the uh, nation is? Toledo. What? Toledo, Ohio. Okay, oh, I don't know. That's just here. the first name that came to my head. Jersey. No, I'm, only, I'm I really only bring this up because for some reason we keep mentioning this goddamn town. Chicago. Oh, okay. Chicago. Yeah. This is so crazy. They, they fucking, I'm reading it for about a decade now. The local Humane Society releases 15 feral cats in certain neighborhoods to help fight it every month. They're literally releasing cats into the city. Cat <laughs> hit squads. <laughs> <laughs> that is We're amazing. Them out in, like mass suits. Oh stuff. my god. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's, it's wild. I'm sorry, dude. Chicago got gun violence. My brain problem. just went to cats like gearing up in the back of an SUV. It's like yeah. wishing their like lives like another day. Like I'll I hope I'll see you soon. Jesus. A bunch of black cats with little black shades. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I bet you didn't see that in your uh, your little cat game you were playing. Nope, nope. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, that's, that's funny. funny. Uh, New York. New York was surprisingly third on the list. LA. I wouldn't have What was the uh what was what was the Florida city? Tampa. Yeah, makes yeah, okay. that makes sense. You know. Tampa is dirty. Dirty dirty. I mean, it's yeah. all right, but it's all right. It's all right. So what were the what were the North Carolina cities? Uh I saw Raleigh on there. The Charlotte. That's the only two highly populated cities that I could think of. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. There was two on here. Miami's on there from oh, Florida. Okay. Also. Got that one wrong. Yeah, but uh, it might, I can't remember the other one is off the list. I'm, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, Chicago. Another goddamn <laughs> Chicago reference on this podcast. Apparently, we got to go to Chicago. I don't, I don't understand it. 
Did, you, uh, did y'all respond to that uh, questionnaire that we put on the Instagram the other day? Uh, we were asking. Actually, I'll go back. Uh, last week we mentioned a uh, twister on the on the podcast, and it made me think like how much I love that movie growing up. It actually, when growing up, I used to want to be a tornado chaser. That was like my yep. number one. That was my that was choice. my top pick aside from pilot. But yes, yeah. Um, I used to go to the Fort Pierce Library. And I had a library card, and I would rent out every tornado video they had every week. My grandma would take me. She's like, "You sure you don't want to get something else?" I got like the same one every. every there was like three of them. I got one every time. Loved it so much. And uh, so I posted out there asking um, what we wanted to be when we were younger, and what we ended up being. And good God, the answers we got that were so drastic from each other. Yeah. <laughs> For reference, a reference, I wanted to be a tornado chaser, and I am in construction. So uh, I don't know about you guys. Andrew, I don't even know what you have. Chasing wanted to tornadoes be. is not a hot commodity in uh, Florida. <laughs> no, chasing water spouts. <laughs> yeah. I also feel like I would have been scared shitless too doing that the whole time. Ah, uh, no, dude, I would love that crap. Yeah, I'd I'd imagine uh, storm chasing though. Like it'd be scary, but the adrenaline rush that you would get from it would more than make up for. Oh it. yeah, we got cows. <laughs> you feel that? You feel it, Mister Crops? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, Twister. That, that yeah, just made me think about that. I love that movie growing up so much. What about you guys? Yeah, Andrew, would you? Are you eating a zebra cake right now? Don't don't worry about it, bro. Bro, I had a zebra cake before we started off. <laughs> no, Damn it's it. all white. It's all, it's, <laughs> oh, it was close. I don't know what they are, but they're like the princess cakes. I don't know. They're like all white and puppy. Oh, yeah, yeah. they're all white. Yeah, yeah. They're like the, the fancy ones. Quality audio content. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Andrew, what would you want to be when you grew up? Or when you were a child. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I I don't know, dude. Like... <laughs> I was, that makes sense. Nope. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I, I'll buy it. <laughs> I, re- I remember when you were uh, when you first posted that. I saw it pop up, and I was like, "Oh, that's a cool question." And then I I go to type it in, and I'm like, "Shit!" <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, I kind of sad. Yeah, I, yeah that. pretty much. No, I, I mean, you know how like it's kind of a thing where like every little boy goes through an astronaut phase. I went to space camp, so yes, I understand. Yeah, yeah. So so there is that as an obvious answer, but then getting a little bit older, of course, like artists, uh, for a while I was actually interested in architecture, like doing being an architect, and I found out it was very math heavy, and I was like, Excellent. no. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I wanted to go – I actually wanted to go to school for literature um, and do something with that, whether it was writing or teaching. And then I wanted to do, dude, I was interested in way too many things to narrow it down. That's my problem. And I still am that way. So I don't have really anything that I like nose to the ground wanted to chase after. I was like a methed out Jack Russell trying to figure out what I wanted to do, just like (sighs) running in a thousand directions. And I still am like that. So you hear that? Andrew's like a methed out Jack Russell. I am. I have lots of anxiety about everything I do and if I should even do it at all. So, <laughs> Oh, so you're a millennial. Okay. Yeah. How about you, Ben? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did you want to be when you were a little boy? I just want to be stable. <laughs> <sighs> oh, God, nowadays, yeah, that sounds about right. I would like to afford a house. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the the first thing I can remember is a pilot. I was obsessed with Blue Angels. I was obsessed with like anything fighter pilot, like all the games on the computer. I'd have the joystick. Um, Did you go to the air show that came? To yep, town? always went to the air show. Um, always went to the reenactment yeah, and stuff. Um, yeah, shout out Martin County. Woohoo! Uh, anyways, <laughs> yay! Let's go, Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right <laughs> someone someone mentioned that like pilots had to be short i don't know if it was like someone messing with me or what but i was like oh i am a very tall person oh, so yeah. nope that's off the books um I, I i i worked on aircraft for a while and I, I was i heard stuff like that too but it's all because like when you learn how to fly you're usually flying these small yeah. little Cessnas and stuff like that. They're hard to fit. But, I mean, you can get in a plane with different sizes and stuff. That was a stupid- Dude, I drove a Miata for years. I should be fine, man. 
Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was, that's such a stupid saying. But yeah, after saying. that, uh, I wanted to be a musician. Um, I mean, that's pretty much what I wanted to do. Oh. Played saxophone for like 10 years straight. Went to college for it and everything. You're unearthing uh, like five other answers for me right now. Yeah. I mean, yes, I, we same, all wanted same. to make it in, in music, but yeah, with with like concert music, playing a saxophone, it's like, okay, I have to live, eat, and breathe an instrument, and I have a lot of other hobbies and interests. Like, I can't live this. Um, so, yeah. No, no. Yeah. At least with a saxophone, you could, you know, you're, you're open to a lot. Andrew and I wanted to just be that one death metal band that actually got paid out there yeah, and stuff. Yeah. The- that's not a real yeah, actually, thing. Actually, what do think about this the other day, actually, um, about being younger, being a teenager and playing in a band and uh, always kind of romanticizing the idea of being a touring band. And then you grow up a little bit and mm-hmm. you realize touring is literally just sleeping in Walmart parking lots and eating fast food every day and yep. gambling away your money and dice tossing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and... Uh... Yeah, for, that, for those wondering what I am now, I'm a kind of a bartender. So, yeah, it's, you know. Oh, sh- sh- uh, should we dox your restaurant? No, no, no. <laughs> I just, I serve, I serve beverages to people who are thirsty. Uh, but no, um, yeah, man, I, dude, I romanticized the crap out of touring and music and stuff. Oh, yeah. and, and dude, I remember, dude, oh, I remember God. a conversation with, I think it was with my dad. Like when I was young, he's like, oh, you know, you got to it's hard work. You got to like sleep in a car or sleep in a van and eat scraps. I'm like, yeah, yeah. that sounds sick. I get to play sounds music awesome. every night. Like, yeah. let's go, you get to do dude. Your, yeah, because you get to do it with your friends and stuff. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. Thinking about doing that now sounds absolutely god awful. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I do not. It sounds good to, to me <laughs> still if it's not like death metal because yeah, death metal bands are. Because oh, as, yeah, as yeah, much yeah. as I love metal and stuff, uh, it, this isn't an exact formula, of course. There's bands that make it very well, but it's harder to make it with that that kind of music. So, well, yeah. you're, And you can even see nowadays, yeah. like, a lot of those, like, hard, hard, like, <laughs> bouncy beat down bands have lightened up and become a little bit more radio mainstream. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, you could call it sellout. I, you know, think it's just, you know, making money and surviving. Um, yeah. They're just, but, they're yeah, just like trying to do what they that... love for their living. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. The, the sellout word is used a lot there, but it's understandable. I mean, I'd rather sell out than quit as a band and work at Walmart. And stuff. Yeah, and y'all want to go live at the good old days. Was, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, y'all want to go live in a yeah. van. I'll go buy one real quick. Let's go chill for a month. Yeah. <laughs> Record it's on like, the road. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, hey, you, you want to like go – live like a hobo uh no of course not but you're gonna do it with your friends and travel to different cities oh okay that sounds cool actually <laughs> it's very pop punk <laughs> leaving your city yeah. with your friends and now that now that you mention it though most of my answers my real answers uh like like architecture and stuff those were like my okay i gotta pick something realistic type of answers but yeah. before yeah. Yeah. pretty much all my answers involved some form of touring I wanted to, for a while, be a traveling uh, muralist. I wanted to, for a while, uh, of course, be a professional skateboarder because that was like my entire world for, I don't know, 15 years of my life. And then, of course, the musician aspect, touring with a band. So that's three different categories where dreams were crushed in some way or another. But hey, you know. I'm I'm getting so sick and tired of the construction world. I, I don't even know where to go from here, but. You yeah, could yeah, go up. It pays good. It pays the bills. Said, you could go up. Get it? Because construction, you build up. <laughs> All right, y'all. This has been the Board Till Death Podcast. I'll see you next week. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so what you're saying is I could be a, 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 a elevator repairman. Sure. Let's yeah, go sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Now you're yeah. just kind of beating a dead horse with a joke, but you know, we're we're cool. We're chilling. We're enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, it's 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 funny to me. Like I I think about that sometimes cuz 
not to get like on an actual deep, like, Hey, let's talk about a topic. But I know a lot of people, and I have this issue too, where it's like the, the struggle with not, I wouldn't call it like depression or sadness, but like this like deep introspection of like, what the heck am I actually doing? What's the purpose the blah, blah, blah. Yes. Uh, Cause we were part of that era of everyone gets a cookie. Everyone gets a trophy. Like you can do what you want your dreams to be. Oh, and then, yeah. you know, it's the whole trope of like, yeah, millennials. <laughs> we watched the boom of the internet, nine 11, uh, financial downfall. And it's just like, what's the point of chasing these dreams rather and and that's mm-hmm. where like i myself have come to a settling of like hey as long as i can pay my bills do what i want to do and be happy with like my exterior what i do for a job doesn't matter yeah. like as long as i can have some semblance yeah. of joy out of what i do that'd be cool uh but you know yeah i'd rather pay the bills to do what i want to do uh yeah totally at this point yeah i feel you i feel anyways you. that's my deep yeah, thought i, I mean i <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm kind of there with you. Like my, my job, I, I, I say it's, you know, whatever, but I mean, it's a good job. I work, I got cool, cool bosses and stuff. Um, it's just, you know, it's not the dream. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's not li- living the big life. I, you know, thought I, you know, what everyone thought they'd be at. They're That's 30, what I think. One of these days I'll be able to afford a, a shack, you know, <laughs> you know, nice little Portland <laughs> cardboard box. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, th- I think that's kind of the sucky thing that we kind of have to deal with. Like you said, like growing up during the time we grew up, but here's the thing, like every generation has whined about something. Of, <clears throat> oh, for sure. Like yeah. with how they've grown up or the yeah. times they grew up yeah. in, whatever. I mean, obviously some of the problems we have now are nothing compared to people that were grown up and being shipped off to war at 18 years old oh, or like people. For sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, but I mean, it does kind of oh, suck. Color barrier and stuff like that. The 60s. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, so, I mean, yeah. you know, obviously people can be like, yeah, you don't really have it that bad. But, like, it's what kind of sucks <clears throat> about being the kind of person that is, uh, like, a dreamer type during these yeah. times. Yeah. Is mm-hmm. a, a lot of things are so unattainable that if that is your personality type and you're just constantly thinking about, like, what you new things to try, new things, like, like, like different ways to make a living, and you can't achieve that, you're just yeah. basically living in constant sorrow. So... I think that's the best way to try and stay happy is like what you said, just kind of hold on to the little things. As long as the little things are in check and you got a little bit of control and can be happy about some small things, then it's all good. Yeah. I think it's all a matter of like perspective too. You know what I mean? Like it's when I was 18, I thought I like was owed the world, but you know, now that you're 30, it's like, okay, well what's really important? Like, what do I really want? Like, and it's like for me, a day to day basis. It's not wild. Right. Yeah. Dreaming. Spe- yeah, do I have dreams still? Uh, no, I'm just joking. Yeah, no, I have. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but you know, I still have goals my, my dreams and dreams are... and stuff, but like, yeah, you kind of put it into perspective and like place it where it needs to be. Like, if this happens, sick, but like, my life is not going to drop. Uh, yeah, don't and, and overly like, romanticize don't. it to the point where yeah. your life falls out from underneath you if you can't achieve it, kind of thing. Yeah, it's funny how your your dreams and goals kind of change through time. Like we were just talking ten years ago, touring act. I wanted to be playing festivals and all these stuff, but now I'm. Mean, I just I would love to just own a couple acres, own a home, be able to build whatever I want on it. You know, dogs galore and stuff. That's yeah. the dream right now. And, you know, be able to travel and stuff. It's just yeah. Getting older, man. Uh, w- one thing that always, like, like, I feel like when we were, all three of us, when we were growing up, we were more of, the, like, the technological advanced ones. Like, everyone came to us for, like, you know, fix the computer. Why is the internet not working? Yeah, I was building hovercrafts <laughs> in my garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's that. There's that you know. But, like, I always thought I was pretty good. And until, like, the last few years, I tried to get more into, like, stuff on the internet, like, how to make money on the internet. And it's like 18, 19 year old kids out here just running things like it's there's no tomorrow. I'm like, I don't even know where to start. Like I, I missed like a whole like six years on the Internet, I think, of like advancement and stuff. I feel like an old man trying to log on to my computer half the time. But like, I mean, I know what I'm doing, obviously, but that's 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 the thing that always trips me. I've been trying to learn more. Well, dude, like but. since not having all the sound equipment and stuff that I had back in the day when we were playing music, um. 
I think it was maybe like last year. I was just looking around, yeah. kind of entertaining the idea of getting uh, a new guitar and like a new rig, basically, to uh, just get back into it. Yeah. The world of audio has changed so freaking much. I had no idea what I was looking at. I felt like a complete newbie. I'm like, I don't even know. I don't know where to yeah. start if I wanted to do something like this. Everything's yeah, all it's, digital it's, now and just you, you can now have a home studio in your house for like 25% of the cost that it would have taken us to have it like 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. It used to be that one person in a hundred mile square radius that had a home studio you could record it. And now it seems like everyone has one. Well, I uh, I see our demographics out there and it's they're all about people our age. So everyone, I hope everyone enjoyed our little therapy yeah. session. <laughs> <laughs> <of living. laughs> the weirdly <laughs> introspective segment. <laughs> like the only one we've had. That was 20 minutes of therapy. Of, I'm, I feel pretty good right now. I'll get a little off my chest right now. <laughs> From the creators of that other show brings you Days of Our Chives, where the restaurant have mashed potatoes that evening. Garth, did you prep enough potatoes for the evening dinner? Hi, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Dude, no, it is Chef. Oh, uh, Chef? Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's my bad. Hell yeah, Chef. Will the intern ever make it out of the freezer? Let me out! It's cold! Will the chef survive a grievous wound from cutting onions? <laughs> Tune in next week on Days of Our Chives. What the fuck is <laughs> And we're back. Ben, what's up? Oh, uh, the sky. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, hey, whoa, 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 hey, hey, yo, is that still a thing? Group, the oh, sky. Can still say that? Uh, what is up, my dudes? So, uh, uh on, no, I don't want to do, do anything. Let me be the guy who just <laughs> yells and talks for fun. Nobody wants substance. Ben was like, "Oh, I could, I could bring us into something. I can think of something." Give me no, five well, seconds. And, yeah. well, and that <laughs> the was look on his so... face, the, the wide-eyed surprise. I could see your entire life flash before your eyes. When I was like, "All right, just do something, Ben." <laughs> <laughs> it's monkey. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. Speaking of, this is a weird-ass segue. Speaking of monkeys, um, <laughs> I, are we back on this? Yes, dude. Okay. I was, I was editing the video, the <laughs> podcast episode last week. <laughs> I could not. I, on, I, I could not stop laughing at the, the mm, monkey part. <laughs> Taylor, mm, monkey. Taylor was so confused. <laughs> I have no idea what it was. So, uh, <laughs> it's from. Uh, isn't it from Kung Fu? Uh, Kung Fu Panda? Kung Fu. It's from Kung Pao. And to Kung, the Fu, Kung Fu Panda. No, it's Is from it? Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I was going to say, yeah, because I, no, I don't remember No, Kung Pao is scene. a whole other conversation. I don't remember the scene, but I remember him saying something to the to the master or whatever, and he just like goes, mm, monkey, and just pieces <laughs> out or something <laughs> like that. It just, I don't remember the context of it, but it got turned into the, one of the funniest things. And I was listening to ta- to yeah. Taylor's sheer confusion, and he <laughs> was dying. Some of the things y'all say go right over my head. I ain't gonna lie. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so that's that two years y'all had living together. Y'all have so many inside jokes that was left yeah. out of. <laughs> well, you know, it was a pandemic, and we had nothing else but you know, yeah, eh, finding scraps of laughter. <laughs> Uh, no, so I know Andrew has a listen of the week, but I found a band that I think you guys might like. Uh, I, they're kind of new to the scene. Um, they're like, I've never listened to them mm. before, but, uh, it's a band that goes by, uh, the name Deftones. Uh, <laughs> and it's... Oh my God. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. Are you being... 
<laughs> like, I know you're being you're joking, but are you just now getting uh, into Deftones? Yes. <laughs> Dude, I, I tried oh getting you into Deftones like three years ago. <laughs> no, no, I could not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I remember on the boys trip you tried yes. bringing up earlier, we were showing you Deftones. You're like, it's not my <laughs> It wasn't. I don't know what clicked, dude. I don't know. Like, because I mean, I grew up with Deftones and like, I I liked it and I appreciated it. Mm. But it was like, I wasn't Get into off. like the sexual vampire metal kind of bit. I guess. It's, I guess yeah. they got that it's going sexual, on. Dude. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's just like. I mean, they did. They, they, they did the theme song, "The Queen of the Dam." Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, I'm like, I, it just wasn't uh, like, that wasn't my jam, dude. <laughs> I'm just, oh my god, I'm just thinking about clipping that part right now. And just, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So, um, no, actually, funnily enough, I, and God, I feel so weird saying this, but like. Cherry Waves is like a trending song on TikTok. And I was that like, That is weird. Yeah. And really? that's, and that was like, wait, I know this. And it kind of sparked, like, hold on, let me go back and try this out again. And it's, uh, you know, it's not bad. You know, now that I'm yeah. in my older years, it's, it's, it's not it's bad. Like, it's like, if you ever heard it, my favorite song's Tempest. That's, that's, that's uh, the thing. Dude, I can't, I can't remember the name of a lot of their songs for some reason, even though, uh, even though I love them so much, but, they all kind of they all kind of blur together. Yeah, little. the entire it, it, the entire it, 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 album uh, with Diamond Eyes on it is just. I think woof. it's yeah. is, is that's that. A uh, it's got no, the, the, one. the snow owl on it. Ah, uh, yeah. I knew of uh, my buddy Chris got well. No, he didn't get me into. He was also trying. I, I know a lot of people trying to get me into Deftones, and I was not having it. But he was like, <laughs> he loves. Uh, I think it's like White Pony. Because he had like yes. that sticker on the back of his yeah, car. That, that that that's like their okay. album. Okay. Yeah, and that yeah, like the when I lived with him for, or like I stayed and worked with him, like I was like, what is this? Like this is like a cool thing, and like I respected it, and yeah. I was like, man, I love you, and I love that for you. But and then like now here I am just it eating my, my thing. shorts, just like oh yeah, dude, that's kind of good. Which is funny because I remember you. Uh... I feel like it was just a couple of weeks ago. I think it was actually on this podcast or maybe when you brought up, um, you said something about like, I think it's weird how there's all of a sudden this comeback of like nineties new metal and stuff. Oh, that was, yeah. And that was me. I think we were talking about the, the train wreck. The, yep. Yeah. Night night and how corn and stuff. And, and, and Deftones stuff. is like a quintessential part of oh, that. Oh, for sure. Early two thousands. Like that's all I yeah. knew. Like it was always on. Mm-hmm. Like I always, yeah, like change in the House of Flies. Like I was like, ah, oh, dude. I watched the change. <laughs> no, you. no, no, you're doing it. Fuck you, never. But it's good. It slaps, dude. Had it's, wings. It's... And so then you here's know you the get next the, project the... for Board Till Death. We're gonna start. We're gonna start a cover band <laughs> of only Deftones. Ben is our lead vocalist, and he's just gonna go. Eh in the mic the whole time uh, <laughs> uh, God, I'm, I'm not kidding but like it's good like i kind of i kind of see how it uncomfortable now, man. we can make our listeners this episode uh, <laughs> well n- near the end of blow the broken andrew and i uh ripped off uh diamond eyes remember that we we are in we started the shows with it was our outro uh, yeah we oh, yeah, yeah outro, we had uh, so, yeah. the ending breakdown of diamond eyes we basically altered it slightly and then just down to yeah, just way down to, and that was our <laughs> intro, and it killed live. Like everyone was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, and I was People like, "We can it. never record this though." <laughs> <'cause it's>, <laughs> 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 this is fun, but we can't actually do this. <laughs> oh, god. I love Deftones. I'm not. I'm going to be listening to them all day. Yeah, you're welcome. I've been doing it now all that day you myself. mentioned. Now that you mentioned Deftones, I'm going to throw a different band into my uh, uh, jam of the week segment. Jam of the week. So this Let's week we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we've talked a lot about metal and heavy music and coming up in the scene and all that stuff. But we haven't had any actually actual heavy bands or anything like that suggested. So in honor of that and in honor of the scene that we grew up in, we're going to be shouting out some local music. Oh, yeah? Yes. 
I don't know. I've, give me some names because I have I've kind of fallen out with some of the local guys. So right we're now. gonna start. I only have two for our hometown because the music scene there has gone almost all the way downhill into mostly cover bands and dad stuff. So oh yeah, when you say hometown, you're talking, I'm talking about PSL. I'm gonna I'm gonna like, say St. Lucie County. Pumpkin spice, but, but it's. <laughs> 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 yeah, but um, basically, yeah, it's poor St. Lucie. Um, first yeah. off, I'm gonna start with Midsummer Dream because the lead singer of that is our boy John Revis. He is an original member of Blood of the Broken. Yeah, old Johnny oh my boy. god, I did. Yeah, yep. I didn't know that. I mean, I, I, hope, I mean, yeah. I knew that. I just forgot. I was yeah, there. it was. Yeah, was that was that before? You, no, it was the three guitars. Well, it started day, out right? just me and uh, John. It was me and John, me and That's John right. Revis, Tyler Norville, Zach Diaz, obviously, and Ben for like three weeks. For a and... minute. <laughs> Still made it in, baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <for> quitting. <laughs> if you didn't quit that band, this, this podcast yeah, might not be happening. That's, That's true. That's weird to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, his band that he's in right now is called Midsummer Dream. They're kind of like a pop punk, pop rock. And uh, it's cool. It's cool because okay. like we're not in Florida anymore, obviously, but it's cool to see people that we grew up with still doing their thing and holding it holding it down yeah, for the for local sure. scene. Um, he always seemed he always seemed more like he was destined to be in a band. I don't know why I explained like he was really good, yeah you know? yeah dude. He was playing music before yeah. I was. He was playing shows before I was, and he's still doing it. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to John. Um, and then I'm actually going to move on to the South Florida stuff because that's what I'm actually more familiar with with in terms of like the people there and stuff because we spent almost all of our time in Blow the Broken down south. Yeah, there was – Port St. Lucie too. Like I mean there were bands and stuff, but like to go to the good shows, you had to go down south from yeah. where you were. Like, there was some here and there in PSO that was fun, but – Every, no one, no one from South came up to us that often. I yeah, guess. there's a lot yeah. bigger scene pretty much everywhere south of us. Um, yeah, there were legit venues. Do you remember? You remember uh, Jake and Haven from uh, that? Uh, Jake yeah, Keller. from Sounds of the Rodeo. Yep. Jake was also in Balboa, awesome band. Um, but uh, no, they are they are in a band now called Thirst, and they are a beat down hardcore band in West Palm Beach County. I think. Oh. Yeah, in Palm Beach County. Furious research. <laughs> no, but uh, they're super heavy, super good. And one thing that makes them very unique, actually, is they are female led. Oh, you don't see that that much. No, they have a female vocalist. Her name is Natasha Rogers in. She is badass, dude. She sounds sick. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, usually, usually when we get the female led singers, everyone's like, "Oh my god, it's Paramore!" And I get, I yes. get so furious. Are you listening to that. it right now, Ben? I see your head bob. <laughs> oh, dude, my face just went like stank nasty. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I typed it in. I was like, "Oh, let me." Lena you know, while he's describing, let me check out. And it was like slow poison. It's just like that. Just that's what I want, man. Just give me that. Yeah. Boom, 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 like I want to go. <laughs> yeah. No. Shout out myself first, in the pit. They're they're really good. They're really heavy, and I don't know. They're, they're just hats off to them. Oh, yeah. it, it's kind of cool to see them also, like John, still doing what they're doing, and they're killing it. They, they have an yeah. EP up on Apple Music and Spotify right now called uh, "The Verge of Collapse." Verge of Collapse, so. oh, sweet. I definitely checked them out. Every I loved everything Jake was in. Yeah, like, they were always. I felt like that was like our our brother band down in uh, West Palm. Like we were all, yeah, I remember. Yeah. The first time, time we played with Balboa, dude, I was instantly into it. I was like, these guys, these guys my are sick. Jaw, my jaw was yeah. on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> and they was, had, yeah, they had two vocalists. So they were doing highs and lows at the same time and all that stuff. Wow. That's right. Yeah. And then, um, I just, the first time we played in that strip club, <laughs> that was like a strip yeah, club early. The pit. And it tur- yeah. The pit. It turned into a strip club yeah. late at night. And where there's like the pole in the middle of the dance floor and everything. Ben's face right now. Yeah, no, I remember specifically. I was, I was thinking because I've I've played in a strip club as well, or not in a but next to it. It was the uh, God dang it, what's that Stewart one? Uh, oh yeah, Paper, Paper Moon. Moon I think. Paper Moon. Yeah. yeah, sorry. You're like, why was that like, on the top I... of my head so fast? <laughs> oh, oh, Andrew. Oh no. Uh, the tap. Uh, all right, in Jensen Beach, it was a uh, cruisers next yeah. to it. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paper yeah, Moon I played a, a few club. shows in Cruisers. That was the first show I played with Blow the Broken, actually. Back They had that awkward, like, tall stage, and you're just looking oh, down yeah. on everyone. Yeah, that was... We also got uh, a band called Pieced Up. Pieced Up? They're from... Uh, yeah, Pieced Up. <laughs> no, dude, they're, they're a hardcore and metal band from uh, Cape Coral. They have an EP up also called Provoked and Unh- Unhinged. And they also just put out a split with another metal band called Cell. These guys are heavy as shit. They're so good. Um, y'all into y'all into heavy music? Yeah, and know. it's kind of funny because I follow their Instagram and they're hilarious. The stuff they post uh, makes me laugh every time. I posted one on my story the other day. Um, it was a picture of a guitar and it was like some deep saying about being a musician. Like being a musician isn't about you know like whatever. It's about being. And they replaced the n- n- the word with sword punched. <laughs> <laughs> being a musician <laughs> is about being punched and like and like all this stuff. no but they're super good and ben i'm actually going to redirect you again to another band god dang it hold on dude <laughs> i'm like <laughs> listening a lot we, we gotta do this stop no, listening it's to so music. good we gotta listen to oh dude, dude. <laughs> Peace right. up is a, is I awesome. I wish we could play. Peace up, up is up, awesome. Uh, song oh, yeah. recommendation: Null at about forty five seconds. Oh, <laughs> anyways, continue uh, on. Yeah. Um. Also, another another sick song from them is "Swung or Be Swunged." Oh, oh <laughs> I'm gonna love that yes. one. That that song is so good. Um. Another another. Uh, all our, sorry. Go ahead. I'm just picturing all our non heavy music listening people are like, what is. Yeah, <laughs> we got we got a we got a shout out our our Florida give, people. You know? Yeah, Absolutely. um, there's another band. They're they're they, a little less. Uh, they're I still consider them local because they they came up in the same you know general vicinity. But they're somewhat bigger now. They're called Dealey Plaza. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, they've been. Yeah, well, the vocalist is Raymond Charles, who we used yeah. to play shows with. He was in Worthy to Recognize back in the day. Yep. Yeah, yeah they they're slap. they're super good too. Um that was a last minute throw in that I just remembered, so I don't have any actual information about them other than that the vocalist other was than a, uh bricks at thirty five seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Ben's not even here anymore. He's just blasting. Dilly Plaza wow, has a big catalog now. now. Thank you. They, they have a big catalog now. They have like three albums up on Spotify. They have an EP as well. For they had they dropped an album and an EP in the same year, at least according to the dates on Apple Music. So yeah. Um, no, and then another good band to check out. I we don't know anyone in this band, but I just happened upon them. Bottom Feeders. If you've ever heard of them, they are they are a deathcore band from Venice, Florida, and good God. <laughs> a deathcore band from venice florida named bottom feeders that's that all just feels it's just right like that i I feel it just just feels feels right right. i gotta know they're super good um they just released a music video recently i believe as well and then i'm gonna completely switch it up here uh actually you know what before i switch it up god dang (laughs) it's not giving me so many treats making this face in the world right this, now Listen this to segment songs. is making ben very happy right now oh dude i'm living i'm living <laughs> high right now um i'm at, which it is you know what feels weird is ben liking i know it feels oh, yeah. or i mean at least you usually usually when we say something he's like i feel very accomplished right now actually <laughs> we're gonna actually up the popularity scale here a little bit too this is another last minute throw in just because i have to mention them because i've been hooked on them lately all right um, one more Body Snatcher. Oh! oh My yeah. boy! I was like, if you do not name Body Snatcher... Oh, Body Snatcher. God, I know they're a little bigger now. They're doing big tours. They're making it big. But, oh my god. They're killing it. They're so good. Dude, they're so um, good. I remember playing... I, was just I remember, I remember playing at least two shows. I never met him physically. But they, their guitarist, Kyle, he used to be in the band Beacons back in the day. Oh yeah, oh, we played the Talent Farm with them, okay. and I think maybe Rocket Town. I can't remember if it was Rocket Town or not, but yeah, they they were a South Florida band. Yeah, yeah but yeah. he's killing it, and their drummer is actually uh, Chris. I think his name is. He was in King Conquer, which is another huge Florida name, oh. and he 
Oh, does he does he vocals on this on body? To be honest, I'm because I remember him doing vocals at King's uh, Conquer. I thought he was. Yeah, I think he did backup vocals, and I think yeah, I I don't know if he still does it or not, but Mm -hmm. I know he owns 1776 Recordings, which is it's his uh, recording company. He does he produces all of their stuff, and I think he actually produced uh, some of Bottom Feeders' music as well. Yeah. Um, well, King Conquer's the name I've heard. I've got a I've got a kind of funny story revolving around Body Snatcher. Because, like, the last time I had listened to them, like, it it had been years. And it was before I left Florida. Uh, I was, like, catching the August Burns Red Show in uh, in Orlando before I left. The night before I left, I was like, all right, go chill. Met some dude in line. We're just talking, like, oh, yeah, you know, back in the day, like, people got hurt at shows. And, like, it was scary. It was, like, the pit was real. And he's like, oh, yeah, like, in my band, like, people move. And that's kind of what I expect. I was like, dude, I respect you. Like you know, you are a, another yeah. pit denizen or pit dweller. Yeah. If you have a you pit yeah. denizen. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so we're like, kind of like, we're not friends, but like, we're being friendly. Like we're hanging out throughout the show and like him. And, uh, I think I got the, like his girlfriend and some friends. And I was like, well, I'm here by myself. I'm gonna hang out with you guys. Yeah. Come, it's come to find out it's the vocalist of body snatcher and i'm like i'm sorry what <laughs> like, i got home and i was like having a moment of like oh, i met someone popular like but coolest dude there is like honestly yeah. like outside of the angriest sounding metal you'll ever hear such a sweet dude or at least like he was nice and friendly so oh, yeah. uh anyways that's what i love about that like i feel like metal so many people look down on it and some people so many people don't understand it but i feel like it's one of those things where you just don't understand it until you get plugged in and like yeah. there, there's such a yeah. community and like it sounds so angry and a lot of the shows are so full of just straight up violence <laughs> but <is> but <laughs> But we all we're all hanging out at yeah, it's like, two uh, in the morning. I don't know, just, just the, the friendships that you gain through. Like, I haven't talked to people like Jake and all those guys from the West Palm Beach crowd in years. But but I have so yeah. many fond memories about those guys and hanging out with them that it's I don't know. It's a community that it's kind of a rarity that you come across something like that in your life. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's a little yeah. brotherhoodish in a way, you know. You part of the everyone. Everyone's was part mm-hmm. of the scene, you know. You know how everyone's got a scene story, yeah. basically. You know, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna throw in uh, one more wild card here. Oh, my my ears oh, can't handle this. The can- oh no, <laughs> Cannibal it's Corpse not, from Tampa. It's not it's not heavy music. <laughs> it's just a shout out to a guy that we know from the music scene that just went a completely different direction. And <laughs> oh, I know you. <laughs> our uh, our old pal Sean. Stepdad, stepdad, yep. stepdad. Oh, <laughs> I love everything he does. <laughs> this shit He's is great. Funny. He's great. Yeah, shout out stepdad. He's awesome. Man, I, I feel like we could go on forever. So that was just a couple. I'm, I know there's going to be more that I'm missing for sure, but that's just what I could come up with for now. If you hear this and you know anything about the Florida scene, local music, um, especially South Florida, and there's anybody that you think we need to look up send us a message on Instagram or whatever, like let us know. Cause I would love to check it out. I'm sure Ben and Taylor would as well. Any genre really even, and uh, maybe we'll mention it oh, on the next episode. 100%. Yeah. I know good music comes from everywhere, but some about that. South yeah. Florida slap. Oh, oh, yeah. God. One more month. till I get to see the glorious mailing. I'm here for it. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to cry. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all, I think, I, if we don't stop now, we're going to keep going for another hour. This is a podcast. Is double, feature. <laughs> double feature. I wanted to say one more thing. Maybe two. Oh, my. Another band. No, 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 no. Here we go. It has nothing to do with the music. <laughs> I never realized how much I say the word like until we did this podcast. Oh, yeah, you say it a lot. You've always thought you said that a lot. And you Me wanted and to go to school for literature? Oh, I, <laughs> well, see, I should have gone. I should have gone. <laughs> it would have fixed this issue. <laughs> I I go back to I go uh, back to edit episodes and just comb through and look for clips to post on Instagram. And I'm just like 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 like. And I'm like, so yeah, I just did it again. And subscribe. <laughs> I'm gonna find a good sound bit for every time you say like. I'm gonna play it. So hopefully, yeah, help like, me break this habit. Uh, you, you'll learn. Yeah, you'll learn. I'll, I'll find something. We could always do the scream. I get you the shame from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Can you imagine hearing that scream blare throughout the podcast every time I say the word like? 
and and so Hello? there is my request do not ever delete that that little bit that little <laughs> audio bit like, uh, oh yeah <laughs> you're, you're raging boner so <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm gonna rename it to that right now you know as our as our listeners are casually driving and uh and listening to the the sultry tones of our voices and you know just <laughs> Oh, I did not mean to play it. <laughs> it's perfect timing. Perfect I hit, timing. I, hit, I typed in Ben's Raging Boner, hit enter, and start playing. <laughs> uh, oh, oh! I hope I, I hope Riverside can't see these names that we're putting in these things. That are, that Riverside's the platform we're using. Like, what are these guys doing? I hope, I hope someone starts. I hope we get a new listener and they start with this episode and they're like, what? And there's no context. <laughs> there's no context. You're going to have... They're not even going to tell them where to go find. You got to listen to the other ones. You'll find out eventually. <laughs> All right, boys. Good episode this week. It feels it felt a little more like therapy. <laughs> for it was a little good cathartic rem- at moments. Uh, rem- yeah, I feel better. It might be you know, late as hell, but I'm feeling it was nice. It was nice. Y'all got anything to say before we get out of here? Hey, <laughs> be kind to each other. <laughs> Love each other. I wanted to what say something akin to like. I want pizza. What the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell <laughs> bro you remember you remember that uh mary kate and ashley bit like they took the spaghetti onions put it on the pizza like they had like this whole song and someone slowed it down to like deep fry like put it on the pizza <laughs> Skittles, oh, I don't know that cookies, put it on the pizza dude i mean I, I don't do drugs, but I felt like I had taken all of them. <laughs> it was, dear God. Okay. That screen is bright. Uh, uh, did yeah. you just flashbang yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, it's like he found the Holy Grail. <laughs> so I, I, I'm i sorry. This just killed me. Uh, I went to go look for the video, and I just see Mary Kate's, or one of them's face just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Taylor, this is for you. Give me pizza. I wish I could like audio clip into this. That is yeah, terrible. dude. <laughs> pizza. No. no. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've never seen that. It's one twenty it, in the put morning. It to one now f- I want pizza. Put it to the 140 mark. God damn it, dude. I hate that I know this video. <laughs> starting at what? Starting 138. <laughs> <laughs> Cream. <laughs> What? <laughs> Eyeballs? <laughs> yeah, <they're just> like, <laughs> we we're starting to move into cannibalism. <laughs> now they're holding eyeballs. And just nope. This nope. is terrifying. I like Satan not to appear. I, I don't want any demons in this room tonight. <laughs> Trying to pronounce the IKEA names, and you summon a demon on accident. <laughs> 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 <Yes. laughs> Alright, y'all hear the sounds. Everyone what say noises? bye. Bye. <laughs> Toodles. <Aww. laughs>